But there I was, lying there on the dirt ground with blood pouring out of my mouth and raw meat in my stomach. That's when he found me, towering over me as if he was a disciple from God. At first, I thought he was going to hunt me down, but then I realized he wanted to help me. He brought me back to his home. He taught me the arts of peace, how to clear my mind from the troubles of the world. Then, the next month, the full moon appeared. My muscles were tearing, and my bones were breaking, reforming. Most people would look at me as if I was a monster, a hellhound sent by Satan himself. But him, he just treated me like a normal shepherd dog. I know many of you would think that would be an insult, but to me, it was everything I could have ever hoped for. A few years passed, he treated me like I was his only son. I never really knew my real father, but he was the closest thing I had to a dad. Then, one day, he grew very ill. As I was out gathering ingredients for his next potion, I went back to the house and saw him there, lying there lifeless. His soul has departed from his mortal coil. He may be gone, but his legacy still lives on. I gave him a proper burial. I would not let him die in vain like this. I lived in that house for the next year. Until then, the Order found me. The Silver Arms. They were, they were a secret organization that hunted down lycanthropes, werewolves. I had no choice but to gather everything I could and run. Once again, I was homeless. But then, that's when I found her, Helga. She was the leader of this certain circus, a freak show. She knew what I was, and she wanted to use my curse as an entertainment. At first, I thought she was giving me a home. I thought she was accepting of others. I was wrong. <laughs>